five to seven percent biomass pellets will be co-fired in thermal power plants resulting in carbon dioxide savings of 38 MMT annually. This will also provide extra income to farmers and job opportunities to locals and help avoid stubble burning in agricultural fields. Saving energy is an important aspect of the energy management. Hence, energy efficiency and savings measures will be promoted. This will be done in large commercial buildings through the energy service company business model. It will facilitate capacity building and awareness for energy audits, performance contracts, and common measurement of and verification protocol. Four pilot projects for coal gasification and conversion of coal into chemicals required for the industry will be set up to evolve technical and financial viability. The policies and required legislative changes to promote agroforestry and private forestry will be brought in. In addition, financial support will be provided to farmers belonging to scheduled castes and scheduled tribes who want to take up agroforestry. Honorable Speaker, I now move to the fourth priority, financing of investments. Capital investment holds the key to speedy and sustainable economic revival and consolidation through its multiplier effect. Capital investment also helps in creating employment opportunities, induced enhanced demand for manufactured input from large industries and MSMEs, services from professionals, and help farmers through better agri infrastructure. The economy has shown strong resilience to come out of the effects of the pandemic with high growth. However, we need to sustain that level to make up for the setback of 2020-2021. As outlined in Para 5 earlier, the virtuous cycle of investment requires public investment to crowd in private investment. At this stage, private investments seem to require that support to rise to their potential and to the needs of the economy. Public investment must continue to take the lead and pump prime the private investment and demand in 2022-23. Considering the above imperative, the outlay for capital expenditure in the union budget is once again being stepped up sharply by 35.4% from 5.54 lakh crore in the current year to 7.50 lakh crores in 22-23. This has increased to more uh, more than 2.2 times the expenditure of 2019-20. This outlay in 22-23 will be 2.9% of the GDP. Effective capital expenditure with this investment taken together with the provision made for creation of capital assets through grants and aids through grants and aid to states, the effective capital expenditure of the central government is estimated at 10.68 lakh crores in 22-23, which will be about 4.1% of the GDP. News first.